welcome everyone myself ds monde working as assistant professor in the department of processing and food engineering kk wag college of agricultural engineering and technology in nasik in this video lecture we will study the aerodynamic properties of agricultural produce so in the in the previous video lecture we studied about the introduction of the aerod of the aerodynamic properties of biological materials and drag coefficient and types of drag so in this particular video lecture we will study about the terminal velocity terminal velocity is one of the aerodynamic properties of the agricultural produce so terminal velocity definition the terminal velocity of a particle may be defined as equal to the air velocity at which a particle remains in a suspended state in a vertical pipe it means particle does not move in a upward direction or does not go down in a down direction so in the condition of free fall the object will attain a constant terminal velocity vt at which the net gravitational force fg equals the resisting upward drag force fr if v is equal to vt and fg is equal to fr so by substituting the values of fg that is net gravitational accelerating force fg and the resisting upward drag fr the terminal velocity can be expressed as vt is equal to a square bracket 2 into w in bracket rho p minus rho f, rho f bracket complete divided by rho p into rho f into a p into c bracket complete raised to the power 1 half so where v t or v is nothing but the terminal velocity of the material having unit meter per second w is the weight of particle in kg ap is the projected area of the particle normal to the motion of the grains rho f is nothing but the mass density of the fluid kg mass per meter cube rho p is the mass density of the particle having unit kg mass per meter cube and c is the drag coefficient so this image shows the concept of terminal velocity when a man jumps from a aeroplane with a parachute at the starting the man is acted upon by down the man's weight act in a downward direction due to the gravitational force whereas at the same instant some drag force holds him in air so there is one point at which the man remains in a suspended condition when this fg becomes equal to fd or fr so in that condition the velocity is attained by the man is the terminal velocity so this just happen when before opening the parachute so under the st steady state condition after attaining the terminal velocity if the density of the particle is greater than the density of the fluid the particle will move downward and if the density of the particle is lesser than the density of the fluid that is fluid means air the particle will rise upward so when air stream is used for separation of products such as wheat from its associated foreign materials such as straw and chaff and knowledge of terminal velocity of all the particles involved would define the range of air velocities affecting good separation of the grain from foreign materials so this we must have the knowledge of aerodynamic properties of biological material for various purposes like cleaning separation it is easy so for these reasons terminal velocity has been used as an important aerodynamic properties of materials in such application as 
pneumatic conveying and separation from foreign materials so to derive a general expression for terminal velocity the net gravitational accelerating force fg equals the resisting upward drag force fr so as we uh, discussed uh, earlier if v is equal to vt and fg is equal to fr substituting force fg and fr the expression for terminal velocity will be mp into g in square bracket rho p minus rho f divided by rho p bracket complete is equal to one half c into a p rho f into v t square so therefore by simplifying this we will get v t is equal to in square bracket twice w in bracket rho p minus rho f bracket complete divided by rho p into rho f into a p into capital c bracket complete raised to the power one half also c is equal to 2 into w in bracket rho p minus rho f bracket complete divided by v t square into a p into rho, rho p into rho f so where g accelerating or acceleration due to gravity having unit feet per second square mp mass of the particle that is having unit sludge or weight per gram or lp second square feet rho p mass density of the particle sludge per cubic feet rho f mass density of the fluid sludge per cubic feet ap projected area of the particle normal to the motion square feet and w weight of particle that is pounds lbs note that the drag coefficient is given by c which is considered to be an overall drag coefficient such that c is equal to cf plus cd where flow is laminar cf is generally negligible for turbulent flow cf is usually negligible except for streamlined bodies so the expression for terminal velocity of object to various shapes are given in the following um, equations for spherical bodies for sphere of diameter dp terminal velocity is given by the formula in square bracket 4 g into dp in bracket rho p minus rho f bracket complete divided by 3 into rho f into c bracket complete raised to the power 1 half similarly it is also given for the uh, thin disc normal to face and for infinite circular cylinder it is also given the formula are shown in this slide so this image shows the application of terminal velocity so a, it is a pneumatic separator which which has a backstop in which various parts of the machine are shown uh, so by the application of aer aerodynamic properties like terminal velocity uh, impurities are separated from the grain thank you in this way we have um, learn about the concept terminal velocity it is one of the aerodynamic properties of the biological material the, uh, the we, we have also seen the formula of terminal velocity and its application and terminal velocity for a object of various shapes thank you